Hello, I wanted to take a minute and show you what is, for me, the best way to export an FBX from Blender. So I'm just going to open up my most recent file here, which is this crate. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn my materials on. I want to make sure that those are in the scene. Um, so what I want to do is I want to export just this crate. I don't want to export the camera or the light up here um, or this little plane that I've got for my rendering. So I don't have to delete all that. I can export just the crate. So let's get right to it. Go up here to File, and Export, and FBX. Pretty straightforward, um, and here's where we need to start making some adjustments. So, first thing I want to do is make sure that um, I'm checked this Selected Objects. So I've got my Crate selected. That's the thing I want to export. So I want to export just the Selected Object. Uh, and to double check um, that the, only that gets done, I'm going to just click on Mesh here. So we've got this, this filter of types that can be exported and so if I wanted to export all of these things which was the default right the camera and the mesh and the armatures and lamps and all this kind of stuff we could export the entire scene I just want that mesh so my selected mesh I want to be exported the scale looks good um, we'll leave all that this apply unit um, we'll try and and uh, translate blender units to our our target um, and then I like to check this experimental apply transform here. Um, and you don't have to do that. I like to do this in case any scaling or, or rotating or anything was done on that uh, object that you're exporting. Um, scaling especially. So without that, without this checked, um, it might look like a square. Um, but if it had been a rectangle to start with and I scaled it out to be a square or a cube, um, then when I exported the FBX, it might, might come back as a more rectangular shape. So um, I just check that by default. So all that looks good. And here's the important part right here. So this path mode, this is where we get our textures. Um, so what we want to do is um, set this to copy. So our path mode to copy. So it's going to copy the textures that we've used in Blender into the FBX. And then I need to check this uh, little box here. So it looks like something is going into that box. So if this is lit up um, and it says copy, then we've got a good chance of getting our textures out. So those are the settings that I use um, to export my FBXs. If you don't want to try to remember that every time, um, you can come up here and you can add a preset and we'll just call this uh, FBX magic or whatever, right? And so now I've got this saved. And so when I come in here the next time I'm using Blender and exporting stuff, I just say, hey, let me use that preset and it'll reset all this stuff here and I can export. So by default, it's using the name of my Blender file, and I'm fine with that for now. Um, I'm going to go back, and so I may be exporting multiple things from this file later. So I'm just going to call this crate number one again, and export that FBX. Um, don't see any dialog saying good, bad, or indifferent, um, but let's go check it out. So I'm going to go to my Explorer here, and I've pinned my Blender folder to my Quick Access. And let me go find that folder. This should be, there it is, Crate01. There's the FBX I expect to find. Double click that in my 3D viewer. And let's see if this worked. There it is. So we've got just our mesh. Um, all the textures came through. And so now this is ready to be put on ArtStation, Sketchfab, Turbo Squid, throw it into Unity, Unreal, um, import it into your animating software, whatever you need to do with this FBX. But it's good to go. We've got we've got the mesh and we've got the textures, which is the important part. So have fun with those. See you next time.